this video I'm going to show you how to take a basic garden sprayer and turn it into a vessel to install liquid ballast into a tire. First thing I did is I picked up a lawn sprayer. I think it was like 10 bucks or 12 bucks at Menards, something like that. And then I bought a bolt-in style valve stem. Came with two of them for four dollars. You can see the stem is installed there. So basically I drilled a half inch hole in the sprayer and then I took the valve stem and put a zip tie in it and I folded the end over and then I stuck it through the hole pulled it up into it and then yanked the zip tie out and then bolted it tight and then you can see there's bubbles in there that's from air coming out of the tire and then I cut the end off and see there was a this was the sprayer end I cut enough off so I could put the sprayer back on but I think I'll just leave it because it's nice to use this to remove and install new ballast and then I got this end picked it up off of Amazon I really couldn't find anything locally for it otherwise I would have got it locally and this is a open flow clamping style air chuck and then it was just a quarter inch I got it on Amazon I think it was like four bucks or something like that and then I'm using negative 25 isobar uh, this loader is going to be in uh, st uh, stored indoors and I don't think there's any problem it's in Wisconsin if it was stored outdoors I probably would use something with a, a lower temperature rating on it originally there was calcium chloride in the rims it rotted the rims really bad and it rotted the valve stems everything was starting to leak what I'm gonna do now hook the air chuck up to the sprayer move it over install the pump now if you're really ambitious you can pump it all in uh, when you pump it'll actually start moving you know if you're worried about blowing a tank up with too much air or something like that if you look it's going down already just by hand pumping it I guess I'm not as patient to do that so I'm just gonna add a little bit of air you can see that tank kind of expanded a little bit I'll just let it go down slowly and I just keep hitting it a little bit at a time what's nice about using this method to install the ballast is the tank has marks on it to let you know how much you're putting in the previous tire I did took about five and a half gallons so that's what I'm gonna put in this tire so it's nice you have it measured you know exactly how much you're putting in it's way more consistent and it actually goes fairly quick now with that open flow air chuck, you can remove the valve core. It'll actually go quicker, but I guess I decided not to because once you're filling past a certain point, it's going to spray out when you pull it off. So I probably should have got a, a you know closed flow one to where it needs the valve stem to operate, but either or it works. It, it's working pretty good so it's been about two minutes it's really moving pretty good 
first two gallons is just about emptied out. So what I'm going to do is just release pressure off the tank. And it'll start to push back in there, but I just pull this off. Once again, a negative 25 washer fluid. If you're in a cold climate, I definitely suggest using something with a lower temperature. I think that RV antifreeze even works. That's good to negative 35 degrees, but that's, you know, obviously $4 a gallon versus $1.20 or $1. Here another two gallons in. four gallons in the tire right now. I put another gallon and a half in the sprayer and we'll put the rest in there. You can see it's bubbling in there. Still bleeding off pressure. You can monitor too because if it starts to get certainly uh, let too much pressure off the tube might shrink and then it might uh, start taking ballast out of the tire. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer and then finish off the rest. There's four gallons in the tire right now. All right, the remaining ballast is pretty much in there. You can hear it kind of bubbling. So I'm gonna release the pressure on this. See there. There's ballast in there. Pretty much up to the top, so 